Now let's look at converting decimals into fractions and percents. All right, here we've got a decimal, 0 0.42. If we want to convert that into a fraction, if we can read it correctly, we know how to write the fraction. And by that I mean 0 0.42 is correctly read as 42 hundredths. Hmm, that sounds a lot like a fraction. 42 hundredths. There's our fraction. Now, of course, we need to simplify that. We can divide top and bottom. Let's divide by 2. Top and bottom. 42 divided by 2 gives us 21 over 50. Let's see. 21 is divisible by 3 and 7. 50 is not, so there is our fraction in simplest form. Let's take a look at the next one, 0.5. Now, 0 0.5 is correctly read as 5 tenths. Sounds like a fraction to me. 5 tenths. Remember, our decimal places are tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and so on. Here's our fraction. Again, we can simplify. Divide by 5, top and bottom, and we get 1 half. Let's look at this one. This one's a little bit more tricky, but if we have a single repeating digit like this, we have 3333 three, three, three repeating, we put it over 9. We put the fraction, or the number, the digit, over 9. So we have 3 over 9. Then we can simplify that as well by dividing by 3 on the top and the bottom. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. If you don't believe me, one-third, remember we can change that back into a decimal by dividing it. So one divided by three gives us, sure enough, the point three repeating. So we can make that conversion back to check our answer. Let's look at this one, 1 1.8. Okay, well, we'll take that whole number and put it out front. That's going to be our whole number in our mixed number and then we have the point eight. Point eight is correctly read as eight tenths so we have eight over ten we can simplify that of course by dividing by two top and bottom we get bring our one over here eight divided by two is four ten divided by two is five one and four fifths next one two point seven five okay how would we correctly read that? 75 hundredths, remember tenths, hundredths. So 2 and 75 hundredths. Okay, we can simplify that. Divide by 25 on the top and bottom. And we get 2 and 3 fourths. Last one here. 0.325, okay, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, okay, so this would be 325 thousandths, sounds like a fraction to me, 325 over a thousand, let's see, we can divide that by 25, top and bottom, divide by 25, hmm, not sure what that is, so let's pull out the handy dandy calculator 325 divided by 25 gives us 13 and 1000 divided by 25 gives us 40 13 over 40 can't simplify that so we're done we've converted all of our decimals into fractions now converting decimals into percents it's pretty straightforward. All we need to do is move the decimal. So, let's start with this one. Going back to the beginning here, 0 0.42. To convert that into a percent, every time we make a conversion into a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right. So, we have 0 0.42. Gonna move the decimal point two spots to the right. We get 42%. This one, 0.5, well, there's only one decimal there, but remember we can fill in zeros if we'd like. Put a zero there, we get 50%. 0 
This one, a tad tricky, but we can approach it one of two ways. One, we could move that decimal two spots, and then we can round it off and get 33.3%. Or, if we look at that, well, we know that 0.3 repeating is one-third, so we have 33, and then that 0.3 repeats again, so it will be 33 and one-third percent. Okay, I would accept either of those. 1.8, again, two decimal places to the right. One, two, fill in that zero. We'd get 180%. This one, again, two decimal places to the right. 275%. And finally, two decimal places to the right. Doesn't matter how many are there, it's always two we get 32.5%. Again, another important thing to remember is that these numbers are all equivalent. We're just showing different ways that we can write them. 0.325 is the same thing as 13 over 40 is the same thing as 32.5. Hopefully this is helpful in converting decimals into fractions and percents. Good luck.